News. I'm Isla Eddy and I'm reporting with Ollie Wilson. And today we're going to do a report on COVID-19. Our very own Emily Lewis has been out on the streets interviewing people about their thoughts and feelings. Thanks guys, I've been out here on the streets look, asking people questions about what, how they felt through COVID. What emotions did you feel when you found out about COVID-19? I felt like a lot of emotions, such as worried because I thought like, what if this means I've like never seen my friends and family again and it was like quite a lot to take in. I got quite worried at the beginning because I didn't know what was going to happen. I felt very scared because I never, I thought I was never going to see my friends and family again. And I was quite worried about people that um, were at greater risk that were in my family about getting it and ending up dying. I was really worried that me or someone in my family or one of my friends would catch COVID and get really poorly and could die and I was quite it made me quite scared. How did you feel going through lockdown? Well, I just thought it'd be fun, like just staying home, staying in bed. But then gradually it got kind of sad. Um, at first I thought it, lockdown was be gonna be such a good idea because like, like I wouldn't have to go to school and I wouldn't have to do lots of work. But then I realized over time it was gonna be like quite hard because like friends and family mean a lot to me upset because I knew when I wake up and get dressed in the morning I wouldn't see my friends from school. I felt quite nervous thinking that um, I won't be able to go to school again. How did you feel about homeschooling? Uh, homeschooling. Um, I didn't really enjoy homeschooling that much because it was really hard to get the questions that you needed to know answered on Class Dojo. It's weird because you can't ask the teachers questions when you need the questions you have to ask them before or after well you couldn't really get all the help that you needed because like if at the last minute you didn't understand a question they were already gone so you wouldn't be able to ask it was very difficult because i didn't really know how to work electronics and it was different my concentration wasn't very good back then and um i always was just like um wondering like can i do this can i do that what impacted you the most well, I lost a relative due to a heart attack and we couldn't go to the funeral and it was quite upsetting because I couldn't, other than my parents, I didn't really have anyone else to comfort me or just help me get through it. Um, I'd say it was just the negative thoughts, the feeling and the thinking that everything was just going to disappear, it was not going to be there anymore. But I also felt quite useless because there's nothing I could do to help. I felt like I lost count of days. What or who supported you through the panel? Family members because we supported each other throughout it. Probably my mum. She helped me a lot with um, homeschooling and just quite a lot of stuff. Um, I'd say my friends because I was very lucky and I was able to talk to my friends over video calls. Probably... Um my mum like and drawing overall my mum just genuinely encouraged me and um i like drawing and it comforts me quite a bit penhaligan friends they sent out boxes and it was to do with counseling and talking with people thank you emily now i'm going to have some statistics of how covid19 affected young people 75 percent of young people found the last lockdown harder than the previous ones 67% believe that the pandemic will have long-term effects on their mental health. 54% of young people said they accepted help for their mental health. The following image shows what young people felt had the biggest negative impact on their mental health. However, on a more positive note, 66% agree they've been able to stay in touch with friends and family during lockdown. Nearly half of those aged 6 to 16 years in 2021 experienced lower mental health. We've talked to some young people about what they did during lockdown for their mental well-being. During lockdown, I started to make a Minecraft server and I'm still working on it, um, but it's been really fun and I did it a lot in, during over lockdown. During lockdown I had this mindfulness colouring book, which I still have, and I just sometimes it's just 
relaxing, just to, like get lost whilst colouring. During lockdown I started to create this book which is a book with a hundred prompts to complete if you are bored or want to do something creative this helps me to do something that is not on my phone so now every often every so often I do something different. During lockdown I got used to doing art quite a lot and if you want to scare away from things and put your mind into a whole other new world you can just do art by yourself. During lockdown I really got into doing lots of reading and it's something that I've carried on um, ever since. During lockdown every day me and my family would go out for walks even if it meant it was only an hour long we still go out every day and get exercise. Keeping your mind active is really important because it can help you not to think about all the doom and gloomy stuff like COVID-19. This can be reading a book, playing with animals or pets, sitting down and watching a film, baking with family or friends or playing a board game with friends and family. It's important to stay active not just physically, but mentally as well. That is all that we've got for TJ News today. And with that, goodbye. goodbye.